everyone, welcome to the special broadcast on VNN Canada with me, Nivedna Prabhu. We are, of course, in the tax season and we've been having a lot of questions from our viewers regarding the same. There have been several queries and who better to answer all these questions and address your queries than DP Jain. DP Jain is once again in our studios. DP Jain is a CPA, CGA and practicing accountant for the last 15 years. He has over 30 years of international accounting experience. He's also the current vice president of Indo-Canadian Harmony Forum and the past president of Indo-Canada Chamber of Commerce. Absolute pleasure once again for taking the time out and coming to our studios, DP Jain. Thank you so much. Thanks. Once again, having been in your studio. Well, um, I mean, it's very obvious that because it's the tax season, like I just mentioned, that we've been having a lot of queries regarding our previous episodes in terms of the questions and information that yes. information that you've been providing them. So that's a great start to the tax season. Number two would be the fact that everybody has, of course, different questions regarding whatever kind of taxes they're applying for. Mm -hmm. One of the big questions I think has been in terms of uh, self-employment and HST in mm -hmm. terms of small businesses and yeah. how they can go about it. So in um, HST, what exactly is um, HST, if you could explain that to us first? Well, uh, Nivedana, HST stands for Harmonized Sales Tax. Right. Basically, it is a indirect taxes. And uh, in every country, including Canada, well, whatever goods and services someone sells or provides, government charge sales tax on that. So basically HST stands for the sales tax. In our back home in India, we call it sales tax. Here we call it HST. HST, HST made of uh, two taxes. One is provincial sales tax and one is goods and service tax, that is federal uh, sales tax. Pri in Ontario, prior to July 1, 2012, there were two uh, separate taxes. One is called PST, that is provincial sales tax. And PST was levied and charged by government of Ontario, Ministry of Finance. And that was 8%. And there was separate GST, goods and service tax, that was 8%. And obviously, this was charged by federal government. And uh, there were separate administration for both the taxes. There were separate filing procedures, separate rates, as I told you. Yes. And then, effective July 1st, 2012, both taxes were merged together into one tax. Okay. And combined, these two taxes are known as HST, Harmonized Sales Tax. And who should apply for this? Before I come to that point, uh, uh, I just want to add here as well. Once these two taxes are combined into one tax, now what's happening are the entire administration of this HST handled by the federal government through CRA, CRA. Canada Revenue Agency. Right. So what's happening, the government of Ontario is spending millions of dollars administering the entire game of the PST, filing the returns, auditors, administration, collecting the taxes, sending the returns, assessment and all. That money is saved. And then whatever revenue is collected by CRA or the federal government, they split between the uh, uh, Ontario government and the federal, federal government. government. And now coming to the question, who should register? Yes. Well, uh, typically any person or any taxpayer or any business uh, who provides the taxable services, services, HST taxable services or the selling any goods, they must register for HST. Okay. Because... Uh, Generally, there are three types of uh, commodities or I can say services which one can provide when they are in the business. One is G exempt. When we say the exempt, it means there is no sales tax, there is no HFT or no PFT uh, or GFT G if we talk separately. So there could be an exempt services or exempt supply, the technical word is supplies. Okay. Second is zero rated. Zero rated means the supply of the services or goods those are taxable, but the rate of tax is zero. So technically there is no tax as such. Third is taxable supplies. Okay. Typically the, there may be more than one rate, but most popular rate is 13%. So most of the laymen, they understand the HFT is charged at 13%. 13%. That is correct because I would say more than 99% or 95% plus commodities or the services, they are covered under 13%. Okay. There are few other rates. But those are applicable in alcohol, timber, or agriculture, in certain other areas. But most uh, prominent rate is 13%. And uh, you did mention about uh, exemptions. Uh, so there, are there any exemptions or optional registration for HST? Exemption, when let's first talk on the exemptions. As I just told, there could be supplies. Right. When I use the word supply, that includes services as well as commodity. 
services as well as commodities. Okay. So what is tax or supply? So it could be service like I am an accountant. Yes. I am providing accounting services. These are taxable services. There could be retail businesses or grocery store or a, any hairdresser or any manufacturer. They are supplying the goods or the commodities. Those are they, those commodities could be taxable as well. Yes. So any service or any commodity which is exempt. In this scenario, a person or a business need not to register for HST at all. Okay. Because if you are basic jo aapka service, you are the supply, you are not taxing in that case, you don't need to register your business. Nahi hai. Nahi hai. Even CRA will not register. Okay. Now come to the optional. Optional. Well, uh, there are a concept in HST regime which is called a small supplier. Generally, a small supplier means a business or a person, those who are dealing in taxable supplies, their sales in a year is less than $30,000. I am using the word year for the sake of uh, uh, ease to the listeners. Though there are different rules, it has to be within calendar period, so within a year, this and that. But for the sake of uh, understanding, let's call it in a year, if a person selling supplies or the commodities, the sales is less than $30,000, then HST registration is optional. When we say optional, it means this business is not obligated to register for HST. Okay. But if they want to register, they can register. So this is optional. Okay. And in terms of how to register and file, how does one go about that? Yes, uh, it's very easy. There are different ways uh, one business can register for the HST. The simplest way, it's online nowadays. Okay. Uh, online. Any business, uh, they can they can do it your, them, themselves. themselves. They can go to CRA website. That is CRA that is CRA, uh, CRA-ARC.gc.ca okay. now the website address is changed that is Canada.ca Canada but still yeah. the old website is still workable okay second way could be you just call CRA and CRA number is 1-800-959-5525 you call it when CRA representative picks the call you ask, ask them, them that you are in a business you want to register for the HST the rep would call certain questions and based on the question they would register you okay Besides that, it could be used as send an application, mail it out, and that's another way. What, what do you believe is the biggest? Is it online and calling in would be well, the better? The easiest way is register, register online. online. Okay. So it's also safe and uh, to do one so. more point I want to add here when yes. we are talking about the small business, small business. or uh, small supplies or a small supplier. Well, there could be a situation where a person, the total supplies are less than $30,000, but still they prefer to register. As I told, this is optional. Yes. That means once a business register for HST, right from the day they register, they need to collect HST. Now they cannot say, Abhi to mere sales nahi hui hai, main ke baad start karunga. No. Once you register, it's mandatory to collect HST right from the first pen you be sales. Okay, so you cannot make, you cannot keep changing according to the sales that you're making from the time that you've registered your business, you have to ensure that. Exactly, that you're tax. collecting HST. Collecting yes. HST, okay. And uh, how often uh, should uh, they be collecting it, like you said? Well, HST collection, as soon as a business is registered for the HST, right yeah. from the first pen you be sales, they need to collect HST. Okay, so there so, is no compromise There is no that. compromise. I have registration today, effective March 6th, and when my sale is not 30,000, I will not collect HST. Collect karu. No. You got to collect it right from, from the first penny of the sales once you register. And uh, when should they pay uh, the HST? Very good question. As uh, a business, we call now, once a business is registered, we call it a registrant. Registrant. So, a registrant or a business who is registered for the HST. Yes. They have to pay it to CRA. Correct. Now, before they pay, what happens? How HST works? HST is a kind of value added tax. A business which is registered for the HST, they are collecting HST on the tax or supplies they are making okay. to, the, uh, to, their to their customers. But at the same time, they have expense to run their business. These expenses we had discussed earlier in yes, different episodes. Episode, it yes. could be their purchase. It could be they are purchasing the services, they are purchasing commodity which they resale, they are purchasing raw material, they have a taxable expense like their rent, their gas, telephone, office supplies and all. Yes. So in each and every expense, they are paying HST as well. So what happens? HST divided into two parts. Yes. When we sell the supplies, we are collecting HST that is known as HST collection. Okay. And whatever expense we are making to run our business, we are paying that HST. That HST is known as HST input. Just so just, just uh, let me simplify, simplify just by giving an example. Suppose I sold 
a merchandise worth hundred uh, worth say thousand dollar. Yeah. And at the rate of thirteen percent, I collected hundred and thirty dollar. So hundred and thirty dollar I have collected. That I have to remit to the government. But at the same time, suppose I have paid five hundred dollar for my own business. Ke liye. Yes. On this five hundred dollar, if I assume the rate is thirteen percent, and that's the way we had paid HST. Hmm. So five hundred was six fifty. Ka I have HST input. ऑलरेडी पे कर दिया गवर्नमेंट को दिस सिक्स फिफ्टी नोन एज इनपुट एज इनपुट सो माई कलेक्शन इज थर्टीन थर्टीन सॉरी थाउजेंड है तो एक सौ तीस डॉलर है और जिस पांच सौ का खर्चा है तो सिक्सटी फाइव मैंने कलेक्ट किया फाइव ऑफ से सिक्सटी फाइव अगेंस्ट हंड्रेड थर्टी ओके इन द रिमाइंडर आई नीड टू पे टू सी आर ए ओके सो दिस सिक्सटी फाइव डॉलर आई विल पे टू सी आर एक्टली नाउ एज इन वैन आई नीड टू पे तो वाट है पांच जब एक बिजनेस अपना एच एफ टी रजिस्ट्रेशन कराता है so as per it there are certain time frames when someone has to file their hst tax return so generally kya hota hai when you file your return then you pay the hst okay so without going into much detail generally yadi kisi business ki annual sales is less than 1.5 million dollar so when you register you tell to cra my estimated sales for the year will be this much okay and if you say my sales is say less than up to 1.5 million dollar Yeah. Typically, CRA wants you to file your HST return annually, once in a year. Once in a year, correct. And so, when you file your tax return, then you pay your HST, whatever HST you collect yeah. after uh, deducting all the input credits. At the same time, there could be a reverse situation. My HST collection is less than the HST input Put. I am claiming. Yes. In that case, instead of paying to CRA, we get a refund. I was that was going to be my next question. So, will there be a refund instead of paying? Exactly. Yes. जनरली क्या होता है कि जब नए बिजनेस स्टार्ट होते हैं सपोज समवन स्टार्टिंग न्यू बिजनेस टुडे दे आर लीजिंग ए प्लेस दे आर कंस्ट्रक्टिंग द प्लेस दे आर बाइंग द मशीनरीज इक्विपमेंट एंड ऑल ऐसा हो सकता है कि इनिशियली देयर एच एस टी इनपुट इज मच मोर देन देयर एच एस टी कलेक्शन इन दैट केस इंस्टीट ऑफ यू ओइंग टू सी आर एस सी आर एस टू यू तो यस इन दिस सिचुएशन सी आर एस सेल रिफंड आउट टू द बिजनेस और टू द रेस्टोरेंट वन मोर पॉइंट एच एस टी फाइलिंग जो हम बात कर रहे हैं आल दो वन पॉइंट फाइव मिलियन तक इट्स एनुअल फाइलिंग बट सी आर ए अलाउज ए बिजनेस टू ओप टू ओप्ट आउट फॉर अर्लियर फाइलिंग्स ओके इफ द बिजनेस सेज वेल नो माई इंस्टीड ऑफ पेइंग टू सी आर ए आई विल बी गेटिंग रिफंड वाई शुड आई वेट फॉर वन ईयर देन सी आर ए अलाउज यू टू गो फॉर क्वार्टरली फाइलिंग इट कुड मंथली फाइलिंग ओके इफ द सेल्स इज मोर देन वन पॉइंट फाइव मिलियन डॉलर देन सी आर ए वॉन्ट यू टू फाइल रिटर्न quarterly quarterly if yes. sales goes above 5 million then it will be monthly yes but having said that even someone is filing annually if they want to opt out they can file quarterly or monthly Any it depends on situation to situation situation case by case and definitely and uh, your accountant is or your cpa is the best person to guide you to guide yes um so i mean we have got great points about how self employment small businesses and hst works any pointers that you would like to give uh, people who has who still have queries about this anything that you would ask them to keep in mind while filing first uh, question today. whenever someone is starting a business so they think they they are in the uh, supplies they are in the business of supplying the services which could be hst taxable if they are not sure best way they could they could speak to a cpa and obviously they can always approach me or my office yes. by calling at 905 7909327 or sending an email at dpjan at dpjancpa.com so that we tell them up front yes you are in such a situation where you got to collect hst aapki jo commodity hai jo supplies hain wo hst taxable hain aur those are exempt or those are zero rated okay. yahan par main ek cheez add karna chahunga yes ki जनरली एक्सपोर्ट्स आर जीरो रेटेड तो बहुत बार जीरो रेटेड बहुत बार क्या होता है कि बिजनेस पर्सन को ये पता नहीं होता जैसे कि मैंने एक्सपोर्ट का आईडी दिया वो कहता है मैं एक्सपोर्ट कर रहा हूँ वाई शुड आई रजिस्टर फॉर एच एस टी आई वोट बी कलेक्टिंग इन एच एस टी बट वाट वन हैपन लीगली सी आर ए वॉन्ट्स यू टू रजिस्टर फॉर एच एस टी बिकॉज एक्सपोर्ट इज टैक्सेबल द ओनली थिंग इज दिस रेट इज जीरो दैट मीन्स सपोज समन इज एक्सपोर्टिंग हंड्रेड परसेंट During the year, their export sales is million dollar. Yeah. So the H S T collection practically zero. But if they have spent money and they have spent H S T input hundred thousand, so they are losing this refund if they are not registered. Okay. So, so there you go. That that is exactly why we have uh, D P J N and his team, or of course any of your prof uh, the professions uh, professional C P C P person who can actually come in and you know do one, the deal. One one more course. point here I want to add. Uh, like uh, uh, certain financial services are exempt 
like if someone is in mortgage business the mortgage commissions are totally exempt someone okay. is selling the insurance those are exempt there are certain other areas which are totally exempt bahut sar kya hota practically you are suppose in a business of supplying or uh, selling the mortgages or the insurance yes. but you do not know and you register for hft and by default maybe cra just uh, does some mistake and they also register you yes and you file and claim the hft refund, refund. because आप जो कमीशन है कमीशन पर एच एस टी कलेक्ट नहीं किया बट यू आर पेइंग एक्सपेंसेस आपका ऑफिस रेंट हो सकता है ऑफिस सप्लाईज है ऑटोमोल एक्सपेंसेस है गैस है एट देन यू फाइल ए रिफंड एप्लीकेशन एंड बाय मिस्टेक सी आर एस सेंड यू रिफंड आउट डाउन द रो आप टू थ्री सी आर एफ रेट आउट हो नो यू आर नॉट सपोज रजिस्टर फॉर एच एस टी बाय मिस्टेक वी सेंड यू रिफंड एंड सी आर एस गो बैक कलेक्टिंग ऑल रिफंड बैक विद इंटरेस्ट So basically, you cannot escape. <laughs> exactly, Even yes. if you file, they will still tack you down. Definitely yes. So okay, so that means that okay, great points in terms of uh, it's very simple. There are certain categories. Uh, how you can go about it? What are the uh, businesses? What is exempt? What is not? If you haven't got your HST number, like uh, DP Jain pointed out, you can do it in three ways. One is to go online. One yes. is to call uh, CRA. And the third would be to, of course, uh, just you know, mailing send out it, an application, mailing out yeah, an by application. paper application and all. But like but the EGS, said, the best way would do uh, would be is to go online and get exactly. it. Exactly, and, and it uh, doesn't it take too it much. It takes hardly ten minutes, even yes. less than that. So perfect. So this is you've got all the information uh, that DP Jain uh, has, of course, given you regarding HST and small businesses. But like he always says, that every case is different, depends on your situation, and if you have queries. Even after all the uh, crisp points that we've got today, feel free to reach out to uh, DP Jain and his team at DP Jain at DP Jain CPA dot com. And uh, like uh, DP Jain again said, ensure that uh, you file everything. The reason why we we keep keep saying this is because, like Mr. DP Jain pointed out, there are a lot of things that you might not know that you can claim. and uh, th- that is when you have to trust a professional to come in and uh, help yes. you out with it so on that note thank you so much for giving us these valuable points we hope to see you next week uh, with some more information about the tax season pleasure is mine and definitely next week we we'll talk again on a particular topic if you receive any query or any interest from the listener definitely we we'll take up that uh, uh, talk otherwise we'll decide on what topic we want what topic we want to talk which but is course, most, the, most appropriate looking at the tax, tax season and of course dp jain is a very busy man during uh, the tax season so it's great i believe all accountants are busy now days <laughs> <are busy>, that's <laughs> <Not> true <me. laughs> but uh, thank you so much the reason why i said that is because in spite of your busy schedule you have taken the time out to come to vn and canada and give our listeners uh, such valuable advice and we value it so thank you so much it's pleasure thank you well uh, that was dp jain of course talking to us about um, HST how small businesses work what are they exempt from what can you do to ensure that uh, you know the the taxes that you're filing in and again like i said if you still have queries feel free to reach out uh, to dp jain and his team at dp jain at dp jain cpa.com uh, until next time sinavedna signing off for vnn canada